Hey, man. You want to build some muscle? Yeah? That's good. That's real good. You just found one of the best fitness channels on YouTube. Shut up. Ow! Ow! Fuck out the way. What's up, everybody? Give me some room. Give me some room. No, I'm playing. Fuck off. Me. Damn, man. Look at all them games. Leaning out, man. That intermittent fasting. Yeah, this is Look at that. And a clock depth. Look, look at that. Separation. Those lines and separation. Look at that. Watch, I'm going to flex just a little bit. Watch this. Watch. Mm. <laughs> Y'all see that? Watch him do it one more time. Not flexing. Look here, man. All that separation. We're not showing off. I got that. separation all the way from here. Look, see, you, we're going to get a bunch of emails. People say, why y'all showing off? Look, we ain't showing off. I ain't off. showing off, man. I'm just trying to show y'all I made some gains, man. We're just joking around. I'm not in the damn bathroom with some damn underwear on flexing and shit. <laughs> I'm yeah. just trying to show y'all a little separation. Yeah, we're just pretty much joking around, man. Yeah. So don't get all butt hurt and shit. Yeah. Look here, I thought this would be a good topic to discuss. Tie this email, making gains without increasing the weights. That's a damn good email. Hey, Hard Twins, love your channel. Um, my dad is an ex-bodybuilder. He's in his late 50s now, and now he seems like he's falling apart. Yeah. He always complains about his shoulder, his low back, his elbows, yeah. and he attributes this to lifting uh, heavy weights in his younger days. Yeah. I like the exercise and I don't want to give this up, but I, I also want to keep in mind that I'm going to be the age of my dad one day, so can you make gains in the gym without constantly increasing the weight and going up to these crazy weights? Yeah. What's your take on this? Yeah. This is a serious email. Yeah, man. See you. This are, gonna help save some shoulder joints, some elbows, yeah, see you are. some wrist, some knees, some yeah. backs. Yeah. Some some vertebrates. <laughs> yeah, man. See you. You're a smart cat. You're sharp. You sharp, man. Yeah. You sharp. Dude, he didn't man. find out the wrong way. A lot of times, man, uh, people don't give a fuck what's, what they're gonna look like when they're fifty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. <clears throat> Can you make gains without increasing the weights? Yes, of course you can. It's all about progressive overload. Yeah. Let me give you a fucking example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you work out on the bench with 245. No, I don't even say 245, man. It's too heavy for a lot of people, man. Let's say 205. Okay, say 205. It really doesn't matter, but let's yeah. just give you an example. Yes, yeah, so right. that's good, nice, moderate. Yeah. Not heavy. 205, right? Let's say you're doing that on the bench, four sets of six reps. Mm -hmm. And not to offend anybody can't do that with yeah. 205. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, let's say you do that four sets of six reps, yeah. right? And on that fourth set, you pretty much fucking spitting, cussing, biting your fucking bottom lip off to get that damn rep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Can you still make gains with that weight, let's say, three years from now, and yeah. you're still lifting that weight? Yes, you can, and this is how. Instead of doing four sets of six, yeah. why don't you do four sets of eight? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that gets yeah. easy for you, instead yeah. of doing four sets of eight, yeah. move it up to four sets of ten. Yeah. And, and so on. And or four, sets, to tw four yeah. sets of twelve. Yeah. Let's say uh, you can do it four sets of ten reps. And let's say when you're doing your reps, you like you at a fucking NFL Columbine. You fucking bouncing that shit and throwing that shit up. Yeah. You got all kinds of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reflex action. Reflex action going, you bouncing the shit off your chest, but hey, you're getting four sets of ten. <laughs> Let's say now, two years from now, or six months, eight months, or a year from now, you're working out with that same weight, 205, but instead of bouncing that weight, you're stopping right before it touches your chest, so you're barely letting the bar touch your chest, and then you're you're not exploding, but you're controlling the weight. Yeah, you're controlling, you're controlling the, the negative, and you're controlling the lift. Yeah. And you're doing the reps a lot better for them, and you're actually controlling the weight, and you're not bouncing it. Hey, you've made some gains. You yeah. didn't have to move that weight up. Yeah, also you can put in, uh, when you're doing the lift, you can do negatives. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to do negatives per se, but yeah. when your weight's going yeah. down, yeah. go down slower. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It didn't explode up. That makes that rep tougher. Yeah. Another thing you can do without adding any more weight, rest pause reps. When you come down and bring it to your chest, yeah. just let it sit there for a couple seconds and then press the fucking yeah. weight. And Try makes... to do four sets of ten that way yeah. once you've mastered four sets of ten. Yeah. All you have to do is get creative and apply the principle of progressive yeah. overload. You don't have to be in the gym lifting 315. Yeah, you, you don't. don't. 
you don't, man. And I see all these pro bodybuilders and these other dudes in my gym, and of course they fucking own shit, right? Yeah. But they apply progressive overload. That's and, why they get so big. And you don't have to, I mean, just not thinking progressive overload, oh, I gotta throw more weight on that. No, yeah. you don't, man. Yeah, you don't. No, you don't. There's a lot of different things you can do to make that lift tougher. Yeah. And not have to move the weight up and it's going to make you stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you leave your ego at home, man, and when you go to the gym, you just work, focus on the muscles that you're trying to train, man, you do not have to lift extremely heavy to get yeah. that muscle. Man. Another thing you can do, take your grip on the bench, move it in a little bit, make the grip narrow. Yeah. That's going to be tougher. Or yeah. make it wider. Yeah. There's all kinds of shit you can fucking do, man. Yeah. You don't you have got... to be in that lifting all this fucking weight. You really don't. Yeah. You seen us in the gym. We've been on uh, on the bench lifting 325. Now look at me. I'm on there doing 245, man. Yeah. So, because, you, know, you know, that shit does take a pounding on your fucking joints, man. Ask anybody who has lifted any considerable amount of time lifting those crazy weights. When they're older, they're going to fucking feel it every and breath. Especially if you're natural. Yeah. If you're natural like us, I mean, it's easy. There's all kinds of steroids. There's steroids yeah. for strength. There's steroids for your fucking joints. I think it's called fucking Ducker. There's all kinds of shit. When yeah. you want all kinds of shit, you can do all kinds of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey. But hey, I'm natural, so. Yeah. It is what it is. That's our take on it. That's our advice. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Punch twins, bitches. <laughs>